Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're playing the Demented Dr. Decker's Did It, Dr. Doolittle. Oh, and Jaya's coming in to see us today, yo. I'm ready for her. Jaya's coming to see us, yo, guys. Uh, how are you today, Let's Jaya? Let's see how you doing. I don't want to talk about grief today. I'm getting enough grief from work. Fair enough. I mean, that's a, that's a solid proposition. I mean, I didn't ask you to talk about grief. I asked you uh, how you were doing. You should ask her how much grief she feels at home in her bedroom. Yeah. You feel grief from that? I don't know if you know, but Professor Alderby used to be my professor. He teaches history and psychology, amongst other things. I know it's not technically work, but he asked if I would allow him to have the video footage of his sessions with Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker wanted to be removed from all of the videos, so it's jump cut after jump cut, but I'm sure you've already noticed that. What? We did notice that. We watched the order be fully put. Oh, it was yeah, just okay. one sided conversation. And he was like, Doctor, you're not listening, and that's the one thing you're supposed to do. Oh, yeah, one video. What video footage? I mean, I already know, but we can ask. I didn't think you'd mind, since it wasn't your case anyway. Mostly, it's the professor talking about how he viewed reality back then, in so much as he thought it was changeable. There's nothing else to do but watch while things are encoding. Is that the guy we told to do the, uh, the Russian roulette? No. The Alderby footage is this guy. Nothing, of course. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. And you can see, there's a... That's why I'm here. Isn't it, Dr. Decker? Him. God. The uh, great old one. The elder god. Oh, yeah. Cthulhu. However you address him. Listen to me. You're, <laughs> You're not, not listening. listening. It's your only bloody job. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement. Oh. Something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. Huh. God loves chaos. But something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What uh, yeah. was once chaotic becomes more ordered. Without yeah. chaos, he has less power. When there's too much order, he becomes he, impotent. He has less So he power. needs to instill chaos again. And do you know how he does this? How? No. And yes, but in the footage jumps you're being around too, too granular. He needs Both chaos so he times. can return, and the only thing stopping him is you. Not just you. Uh, you and people like you. Psychiatrists, doctors, nurses. Anyone who is caring for people who are losing their sanity. Huh. You have no comprehension how important your job is, do you? Nope. He doesn't need your version of insanity to spread. He needs chaos. It's not the same. It's just a means. Is this really just like a Cthulhu They're thing? They're not all cultists, unfortunately. Once you see the truth, it's hard not to spread chaos yourself, to huh. cause further insanity and harm your own. I doubt it. But can I make you question your reality? All right. You know what? I think it's just a Cthulhu thing. It was interesting to watch that again with a okay. little bit more knowledge. But yeah, the, the, the footage jumped around because, like Jaya said, he he wanted to be cut out of all the footage. Yeah, so but the I mean, doctor, the times it went from like zero zero three seven to like twelve twenty six to like zero zero whatever. Oh, you mean it was actually jumping around like yeah in t chron chronology? I guess. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. How, um, how is reality changeable? Yeah. How do we do that? Psychokinetics. Remember, cult of the kinetic mind. Professor Alderby said it was recommended reading to help psychiatrists in their frontline battle with insanity, he likes to call it. Oh. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that front line. Can you battle with insanity? Yeah. She came into our dreams and was looking all seductive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, using your powers on me. Professor Alderby saw the relationship between psychiatrist and patient as a winnable battle. The patient must be cured by removing their psychokinetic ability, if present, either by telling them it doesn't exist or by using another psychokinetic ability to negate it. It's a long time ago. I can't remember all of it. There was a specific example. Let's hear it. Uh, yeah, let's give it to us, Jaya. What specific example? 
If someone tells you they can fly, you tell them you control air currents and that from now on they won't be allowed to use them. This would normally stimulate the brain in such a way that the patient stopped thinking they could fly. The main danger as the therapist is believing that you can control air currents. Wouldn't that make your client huh. piss that you're taking away their ability because, like, you're not letting them use your air currents anymore? It right. It gives you, like, all the power, and then they want to kill you with a paper spike on your desk? It makes me wonder. Okay. 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 I was wondering if her giving us that piece of knowledge, because we asked her, we told everybody that we could stop their ability if we tell everybody that we can... Yeah, so hey. like maybe that's where we go with this. We start yeah. we start taking their powers away. All right, let's see what let's we're gonna see. end up murdered at the end of this. Oh yeah, we're dead. We're we're dead. I mean, we're yeah, we're dead. Jaya looks kind of crazy. <laughs> she is, dude. Everybody's crazy. All right, does psychokinesis really pose any dangerous to therapists? The danger of pretending you have psychokinetic abilities is that you may start believing you have them and then have them. It's the paradox of the cure. Dr. Decker loved paradoxes. His favorite was the grandfather paradox. It's all step by step. <laughs> it's not, what is the grandfather paradox? She's in here dusting in between questions. I mean, she has good form. She if do. you can travel back in time and kill your grandfather, then you cannot be born. But if you cannot be born, then you cannot kill your grandfather. So time travel is chicken uh, and egg, if you will. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, fair enough. So if you go back and stab your grandpa in the heart in, like, 1930... Yeah, then he's dead, but you can't be born to do it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, yeah, so would you... I guess you would cease to exist. He just falls you... asleep. <laughs> That's it. It's the only thing that happens. <laughs> Speaking of sleep... Do you take sleeping pills, honey? I don't take sleeping tablets, never have. Sleeping I'm not allowed tablets. to prescribe either. Dr. Decker had me try to forge his signature once, but I was woeful. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at those eyes, dude. Wow. She means business. The toxicology report mentions ethanol. Some people would say Dr. Decker had a bit of a drinking problem. It there got it is. worse, and then it got better when his confidence turned up. I think it was the stress of dealing with the new patients. Oh, I yeah? like the odd tipple. I like odd tipples too. What the heck is an odd tipple? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy Brits. And you're. Oh, okay, there we go. Thank God. <laughs> I've been known to drink. Not as much at the moment. Not as much as Dr. Decker did. He kept at least one bottle in his desk drawer at all times. You can't imagine the amount of times I wanted to sneak in and have oh, so some. She's an alcoholic. Oh, she's not. Nope. Sorry, girl. I can't deal with that. Jay said Dr. Decker kept a bottle uh, a bottle in his desk drawer. Could someone have spiked it? No, we... I mean, I no, guess. she means with the tenazepam. With the tenazepam. Oh, with the ethanol. Well, I think the ethanol was from the alcohol. Well, oh. yeah, but he had the sleeping pills in the system, too. Mm. Could someone have spiked Dr. Decker's Who bottle? stabbed him in the heart with a paper spike? Oh, well, that was after. I that. suppose it's possible that somebody spiked his drink. Most people probably knew he had a bottle in his desk. Wouldn't have been that hard to empty out some capsules into it. Capsules. Maybe the police should get fingerprints. Yeah, maybe they should. In fact, if yeah. they're good at their job. I mean, then they... say yes. Might as well test it. No, yeah. this, is, this is amazing, yes. Of course the police should go get fingerprints. I'll go and suggest it. Make sure nobody touches the bottle in the meantime. It's still there. It's been a long time. Yeah, it kind of makes you think that they didn't do a good job of policing in the beginning if they didn't already take fingerprints. They're just like, well, he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> paper spot to the... <laughs> That's how he went. Yep, he dead. He's dead and did it. He's in the ground. Sorry, doctor. All right, let's uh, let's see. Why did Doctor Decker want to be removed from the videos? Yeah, let's oh, do that's that. a good one. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe he was an undercover secret agent. Maybe he was getting more annoying as time progressed. You're not though. You're lovely. Oh, is this a good time to ask for a raise? Oh yeah! Well, uh, you keep coming to me in my dreams, girl. You be getting all sorts of raises. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, I can go to the next day. Right, now. We're ready to go, but we gotta finish up with her. A raise, yeah. Let's go down this path. Yeah. Wow. I was kidding, but thank you, Doctor. I'll take that as a yes. And don't worry, I'll sort it all out. First, you just give yourself a raise. I'll handle the raise. Don't uh, worry. She'll about. come in. She'll come and raise something, dude. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my God, Jonas. All right. Did Doctor Decker have any psychokinetic yep, ability? Let's this, see. This is a good question. Yeah. Doctor Decker definitely dabbled in that stuff. I'm not sure to what He's extent. Wicking. He's Wicca. That's all you're gonna give me? That's it, dude. How well do you know? Yeah, go any route. I don't care. Why she throw? She just threw <laughs> something at us. How well do you know, Doctor Professor Alderby? Yeah, there we go. I like Professor Alderby. He turned me onto that book I've been raving about. Okay. Well, oh my God! Back to the kinetic cult <laughs> mind, dude. Let's go. Let's go ahead and read yep. some more information about it. The cult of the kinetic mind. I should start selling them myself. All right. There's fair. something else you should start selling. Did Dr. Dexter ever have anything to say about his mum? Yep. We should need to know about his mum. Dr. Decker told me he was adopted. Wow. His birth mother only turned up five years ago because she wanted money for her experimental cancer oh, treatment. Oh, no wonder he didn't. I'm not sure how much it cost or even if he had the money, but he didn't do it. And she became one mean mother. Oh, no wonder he didn't want to go see his mom who gave him up and came back okay. for money. See, and I knew I knew there had to be a reason for it, man. Hey, I she's knew that it. evil scowl, bro. Are you feeling stressed right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. There's a lot of stress in here. We're dealing with people's lives. How do you relax, Doctor? Uh, well. Oh, we... do we have a choice this oh, year? please. <laughs> All right, let's see. It asked how I relax. I relax with food. Maybe alcohol. Also relaxes me. What else? All right, let's see what we got. Music, games, eating, Oh uh, Well, sport. he said eating, so let's say food. Yeah. I mean, but we get to choose. Yeah. We get to but choose. I think it specifically in the note says eating, so let's go with that, that route. I'm going to look at the note again. It literally says food. <laughs> <laughs> I relax with food. Maybe alcohol. All right, we'll get to that on the next one. So that's no, all time for today's episode. We get a choice. This is a choose your own adventure. It is. So, but that's all the time we have. We'll find out what we choose on the next one for Jonas. CNT. Uh, we out.